Vindicators don't necessarily have the reputation as one of the strongest medium mechs in MechWarrior Online, but they recently received a couple of changes to their quirks, so I thought it was nice to go ahead and revisit those mechs and see what we can do. And oh boy, am I glad I did that because the matches we had were amazing. Hi friends, I'm TTB. Welcome back to German Mech Engineering today with the Vindicator 1R, and we'll be running it in a ER medium laser and MRM configuration. It is going to be insane, especially that first match. Like, you guys are going to enjoy that one for sure. Let's go. Like I said, I, I love the idea of going story focused. I hope the campaign will be long enough. And I, I really hope that um, the characters will be interesting and not bland. And I really hope the story will be good. And I really hope the presentation of the story will hold up. Because if you remove the sandbox from Mech Warrior, your story needs to be well presented and really cool because otherwise you're gonna fall flat and like i said with clans it's like it's like the holy grail of battletech right so don't fudge this up it could be really good then um i don't know if i should be here right now has a kind of like a forbidden fruit kind of vibes to me right now. Target spotted. Acquired. New target acquired. But I whiffed this so hard. Target spotted. Warning incoming missile. What are you doing with your supernova down there, man? Okay, so that did not go as planned. My my blob is going to Charlie Three, so let's rejoin the blob somehow if we can. Target spotted. Got the UV kill, nice. It's a Corsair, yeah. Okay. Big boy ATM, anti, anti missile Corsair. Hmm. With that, what's he doing down there? No, 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 no! Why do you stop fighting? To dis disconnect it or something? Fuel at 25%. Fuel at 0%. Target spotted. Can't hit him right now. Let's use my lasers. Am I firing my lasers? Oh shit. Fuel at zero percent. You die. That took a while. He's fresh. He's fresh. Hammer, you will be avenged. Where's this guy? Okay. Gotta be careful here. 
try and rejoin our teammates somehow. That didn't hit whatsoever. Woo! I got the Corsair, apparently. That's a bad shot. New target acquired. And she's fresh. New target acquired. Target spotted. Yes. He's fresh! Almost seven. Nice! Try to feed your assault back. Target acquired. Did you go? He's back there still, okay. Target spotted. How many more people Target are there? 100%. Jesus, you see LCT? Target spotted. Didn't get the CT, unfortunately. It's one shot now. These guys. New target acquired. <sighs> Stuck on some bullshit. I know, starting my life. How much health does he have? Oh, he's almost dead. Okay. Let's go for SRM Bomber Boy. Goomba Storm! God. I need help with this guy. I have no more ammo left. And no ammo. Affirmative. <sighs> Isn't Charlie free last scene? Killed me right there. At least my ammo is gone. Side toss is one touch. Both side tosses one touch. He's looking at me right now. Should be able to get him though. Yes. He's toast. Come on. What am I stuck on? Jesus Christ, the engine. Buddy, Mulemrim? Target destroyed. What a match! GG. That was nuts. What a match! The Vindicator, eh? <laughs> 1400 damage and 8 kills! Ace of spades in the Vindicator! <laughs> 3 solo kills, 4 KDD, 1400 damage done, 600 damage tanked, 17 components destroyed, and Thanks 2 UV kills. That's right! 919 match score! <laughs> Alright, well, I think we got our first video for the Vindicator. <laughs> GG. I, I don't like to t wish people good luck, I'd rather wish them good hunting. Good luck suggests that they need luck to actually be able to perform. Right? Whereas good hunting is like, yeah, we trust you to murder these sons of bitches. Target 
Okay, there's a die wheel there sniping. Let's not repeat this. And a stone runner. And this got binary lasers. Master. Almost wasn't in range anymore. Okay. I got a little bit of poke in, but not insane numbers yet. I wanna see if we can go for that dire whale. Dire whale duck has set up in Delta 5, Delta 6 border. Oh, hey, that's my friend from before. You look familiar! Have I molested you before? Can I please move? Game? Yes. Target Yes, I die well. Let's go whale hunting. We're whalers on the moon, we carry a harpoon! But all large, expo uh, large pulses, gotta be careful about him. Oh, he's behind the corner here, okay. Jesus fucking Christ, is there a V above me? Of course there's a V above us. Skill Lords always come with UAVs attached. That's how you know the true Skill Lords. I could stop farming right now, but there's still an arm to maim. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Ow, he hurts. Alright, alright, alright. Enough farming. I get it. Oh shit. I was so busy farming I didn't realize we were actually losing hard. Oh, that's not my problem. That's not on me. Oh, fucking hell, dude. Uh, remember, skill lords always have their UAVs. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, fuck, I'm dead. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> the stone rhino! Target acquired. Oh, he's not dead yet. Oh, move, move. Stop. Stop it. Where is he? To dead? Where did you come from? Oh god, I can't jump. I'm stuck. <laughs> I got stuck in that, in that thing. I got move. <laughs> It's funny how you find like those Pepeka engineering corners in maps that are like what 10 years old because they were delivered like in as is condition and never properly updated. Still not a bad match. But hey, it was the right choice to farm the dire wheel. It was the right choice to farm the dire wheel. Because I would have died sadly afterwards as well. Anyways, so at least we got to maim the dire whale a little bit. 
One solo kill, three candy Ds, 974 damage done, 602 tanked, two UV kills. Top damage in the match, 540 match score, and a freaking Vindicator. GG. I don't know where the enemy team is, so... <sighs> Just gonna go somewhere, I guess. Target spotted. They'll be all over there. Oh, no, they're here. Piranha. It's a Kai Piranha. Ooh, a salt mech. Nice. Farm. Ah, oh, it's a viewer. Almost a derby. New target acquired. Target spotted. Target spotted. Target spotted. Suddenly Fafnir. New target acquired. Ah, okay. Not a dangerous build. I mean, dangerous enough, but not insanely dangerous, I would say. Where are you going? Still up there. Target spotted. Target spotted. Target spotted. Uh, okay. Doesn't want to lose a side choice apparently. There we go. Target spotted. Now it's time to farm. Or not. I wish to farm him a little bit, but it was not to be had. Ow. Okay, too much skill coming my way right now. Let's go down here. Artillery strike on top of us. Ow! Calm down, for fuck's sake. What is that thing? Oh fuck, it's a Coloss. And I missed my shot. Ah, that sucks. That's terrible. Give it at the side also. Where did you come from? That was weird. Is he dead now? Now he is. Oh god, I missed. <laughs> How about that ATM bull today? Uh oh. I had to cool down. <laughs> the rifleman is still running around behind me. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Finally. Yeah, we have an atlas apparently. Oh, we have a fratlas. We have fresh atlas. Okay. Well. That's too bad. I could have farmed more damage. I could have done a thousand damage this one if I didn't die there. Ah, too sad. I'm sad now. I did get the kill in the colors though. And the Fafnir, so we traded up. We traded up. Okay, somebody has to go to the circle, guys. Affirmative. Hmm. I was toasted though. But not bad. Want to farm the ATM boat a little bit because I hate ATM boats. Uh, two kills, two KMDDs, 822 done, 500 take, and 9 components. Plus for UV detections.
Not bad. Not bad. Level 3 match score. GG. Well, are you guys as surprised as I was as to how well these mechs can actually handle if you find the right combination of weapon loadout and uh, match and also your own positioning? It's kind of crazy. Well, here we have the build on screen. We're using the XL250 engine, which I believe is the max size engine for this mech. Yeah, that is correct. MRAM 30 in the left torso. All energy hardpoints are populated by ER medium lasers. Three tons of ammo for the MRMs. Double heat sinks, one in each side torso, and two jump jets. As far as the crooks are concerned, by the way, Alpha Strike Firepower, 55 damage. Speed is going to be 90 kph. The crooks are listed as follows. 30% missile spread, 15% flat cooldown, 20% flat heat, 10% flat range, 10% laser duration, plus extra armor throughout the whole mech, and 100% extra thrust of jump jets, which allows us to get by with just two jump jets, plus an extra 5% heat dissipation and minus 10% overheat damage. So with the skill tree, that means that we get our cooldown on the MRM30s down to about... 3.6 seconds, which is kind of nice. Range is going to be optimally at about 690 meters, close to that. ER mediums are going to be given a optimal range of about 450 meters, which is also really, really nice. And of course, the initial jump jet thrust helps a lot with getting a little bit of elevation so you can pop tart and shoot your weapons. Plus, of course, the extra armor helps. I mean, 60 on the arms, 70 on the legs. This uh, looks a lot better than the Vindicators looked uh, before. And even though this is just a 45 ton mech, guys, I think it was quite capable of performing well. Plus, of course, you've got a lot of arm mounts. That means that you can shoot down UVs quite easily. And of course, you have this high mount MRM launcher that can always be used and everything just comes together nicely. What do you guys think of the new Vindicators? Let me know in the comments below. Try this build and let me know how it goes for you. I'm so glad I gave the Vindicator a try. I didn't expect much, but oh boy, we just had a nice combination of matches, a little bit of luck, and uh, just some good uh, gameplay. There's only one thing left to do, and that is, of course, to say thank you so much to all my beautiful supporters. Guys, I couldn't do this without you. And if you right there would like to join these ranks, please have a look at the video description for a link to my Patreon. Or, of course, you can pick up a nice bit of TTB merch at the merch store, or, of course, we can go ahead and become a channel member or send a super thanks right here on YouTube. Thank you very much for your support.